Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through how I'm currently trading Bitcoin and my price targets and I'll also be discussing with you all my thesis of whether I believe there is enough fuel left in the bulls tank to push this up for another wave to the upside or whether the local top is in here and we are heading down. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. I actually think that you should be taking a lot of information from this. Uh, it's going to be hopefully quite educational for you uh, as well as seeing how I am trading this right now so uh hopefully you thoroughly thoroughly enjoy this one and uh yeah let's begin uh with what led us to this okay so before we go over how i'm trading let's go over what led this move to the upside because to decipher how you're trading this right now you do have to see back through this move to see what got you here in my opinion that's how you should be trading okay not jumping straight in so when we decipher, how have we got to here? Okay, so firstly, this move up that we saw yesterday, okay, very simply, a fib from the low to the high, one can say, okay, we held the 382 Fibonacci very well, wick down, holding, holding, okay, for me, this was not a long entry off of the 382, but an intraday, intraday 618 pull, okay, so what we can see here, okay, is, okay, I hope everybody can take this, I'm explaining exactly how to do it. So a fib from the low of the move to the high of the move, a pullback to the 618, a pullback to the 618. Uh, you had also, okay, you would also in the day been in this upward sloping channel. So you went in an up, upward sloping channel into a resistance that was heavily tested, okay? And the res daily resistance, if I remember correctly, was $8,207, okay? So you come up and got a swift move to the downside, okay? looking to buy those dips to trade that obviously back up again okay and you can see here the perfect 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 entry that the 618 got there to the dollar by the way uh for that extreme move to the upside and i know people are going to be saying right now daniel this is hindsight trading you've just put on this fib there's no way you traded that i present to you the group uh where i did post this in the actual day uh, yesterday, obviously, while price was still sat at 8,170. Um, yeah, in the group. And uh, you can see people very impressed with this. Uh, and also other members of the group literally getting filled uh, at the low there. So I think you can all, let's just firstly say Fibonacci is great. <laughs> to be able to buy $2 from the from the bottom and then see an extreme move to the upside, that is just, it makes your day. It really does make your day in trading. So um, yeah, I just wanted to show that, that that wasn't hindsight, something that I've just told you now, but also was posted live in the time before this move even happens okay so that's obviously the reason that we got that move up here okay so now once we've deciphered why we got that move up let's zoom out and say okay so what's the resistance that we're getting here okay so what's the resistance that we're getting here and there's a confluence in my opinion okay so fib and actually extension from low to high to low you see here perfectly wick onto the one-to-one -one, wick onto the one-to-one -one, wick onto the one-to-one -one. why is the one-to-one -one so important well if you're looking at an abc zigzag here uh, obviously, you need to know a little bit of Elliott Wave Theory uh, to do to understand this, uh, which I'm not using for this video to explain that. But basically, we've got either a 333, which is WXY, or we end here with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we get this extra push to the upside, which then gives you an ABC flat. So currently, WXY, because it's a three-wave move, uh, but if we get this final wave to the upside, I can just adjust this to an ABC flat. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all part of the Elliott Wave side of things. Uh, but on top of that, on top of that resistance, what we can see is the 200 uh, exponential moving average on the daily here. So if we put on our 200 EMA, you can see here very, very nicely indeed uh, that yesterday we come up and tested it again. So you're seeing that confluence of resistances coming together, okay? So horizontal, you're also seeing a Fibonacci extension. You're also seeing the 200 daily, which is a very strong moving average. Uh, so you can see the rejections that we got from there, which then leads us down to our intraday basis again, okay? So from an intraday basis, what we've done is we come down inside of this channel, okay? From low to high to low to high to mid-range to a little bit of a break to the upside. As you'll know, that's the exact wick of those one-to-one -one extensions. So still finding resistance there. Coming back down inside of this channel to the low, to the high, to the low. Okay, and then from from this, we have another Fibonacci pool. Okay, so from this next Fibonacci pool, and let me just remove everything from the charts, what you can see here, okay, actually let me uh, let me keep that back on for one second because that's really nice. What we can see is from this high to the low, what we've done is we come up again to the 618, and this is, is very much intraday trading right now, so intraday scalp trading. Okay, what we can see, okay, is hitting the 66 to the dollar, by the way, coming back down, and one could say now we're obviously moving up a little bit, a little bit of a back test of this is the uh, 55 exponential moving average on the 15 minute, which I like to scalp from, uh, but obviously that's coming in as a little bit of a support. We have obviously temporarily lost it, resistance, and now that's flipped to support. 
And on top of that, what I was specifically going to refer to was on this five minute chart. It was OK on the five minute chart, these closes. And you can see there the, uh, you know, the confluence of support that we had here, you know, a little bit of a front run on the back test of this channel. OK, this horizontal level and also that 55 exponential moving average on the 15 minute chart. So that's your little confluences that you can see here. Um, but just for another little shout out of, of how good this golden pocket was and a little bit of a joke. I hope you all see the humor in this. Uh, this is another one that I posted in the group to everyone earlier, a little bit earlier today for a sculpt trade off from a game from the high to low saying, look, at, you know, get ready for this reaction that we're coming up to of the 618. And then making a little bit of a joke. Where did I write this? Because I found it quite funny. Uh, maybe I can get a meal paid for uh, out of courtesy from Bitcoin because guy pondering, you know, do we short the 618? I says, yeah, well, I've got an order stop, uh, an order said at, at that golden pocket stop loss above. Maybe I can get my dinner paid for while I'm out. And you can all guess, got my meal paid for by 618 here. We literally come up to the very top of the uh, 66 here, literally to, to the dollar. And then we still saw that reaction to the downside. In the end, this come up to my fi uh, 26 EMA off the five minute chart, which is a sculpter's chart, by the way. Uh, but yeah, coming up literally came down to that. I will show you all this, by the way, just so you can see exactly. OK, we did come down to this and now you can see the reaction that you're getting from that. Uh, so that was the, <laughs> yeah, the secondary nice, nice little thing of the day <laughs> um but yeah overall what we can all we have to acknowledge that is today it has been a very sideways day okay so a very sideways day you are exactly where you were oh yeah this was another thing that i wanted to like show that we are literally where we were at the start of the day so there has not been too much uh movement and this is one that i kind of also predicted that would happen today that I didn't think that we would uh, see any more expansion to the upside or necessarily the downside and just stay within this sideways range. So that was uh, 12 hours ago, more or less. And 12 hours later, we are still within this same sort of sideways range. And I'll show you a channel uh, that you could be potentially keeping your eyes on here as we do move literally sideways. Uh, so uh, I'm going blind here. OK, so what we can see is a clear resistance coming in around there and a clear support coming in on these lows. OK, possibly if you want to move this up slightly and a little bit of a more defined range. OK, uh, but nevertheless, on a sideways consolidation period. OK, so on the sideways consolidation period, I would just always say trade the range. Uh, but uh, well, that's pretty nice on the one hour over here. But yeah, overall, or I'd say you'd be looking at on the shorter term time frame is a, is a resistance of literally the top of this move now. So 8,662. And we did bounce off of the 382 fib as well, didn't we? So from the high to low again here, bouncing from the 382 fib and actually earlier today to see this reaction to the upside. Um, so those are the two, you know, main support and resistances on the very short term on Bitcoin. That's 8,460. OK, so 8,460. By the way, I also uh, also predicted 8460 today as a possible low coming in where I would look for while, while we were waking up in the morning, giving 8460 to the group. Um, so, yeah, that would I, I'm just literally like a Jedi right now. Like the guy said, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, 8460 support and then looking up at the highs of 8622. OK, and then of more of a midterm, you're looking at back down to monthly support, which is 8300 to weekly resistance being 8750. So that's Bitcoin for you all. Uh, I've actually been much less aggressive on Bitcoin while it's inside of this range, literally a lot less aggressive. And I have been much more aggressive on altcoins. OK, uh, so this is going to be another shill absolutely on myself, but I have to because it has just been so good. How can I literally not? I like I am so OK to shill myself when I can see and literally show you all how good that I've been doing this right now. And I'm sorry if that comes across big headed, but I hope that the people can view this educationally is how I'm going to try and put this across and showing you why exactly I chose these coins because this morning in my morning report which I do the daily reports okay and I've been very good at selecting alts like very good but today I gave Ethereum, Raven, Engine Coin and ZRX okay of, of the, obviously for the long side and in the short side and EOS okay so those were the five alts that I was trading today and ending the day with well, actually, Ethereum's even more than this now. Ethereum got another leg up, but Ethereum 0.5% gain, Raven 10% gain, Engine Coin 1% gain, ZRX 5% gain. They're all plus of that now. Uh, but literally, in a sea of red coins, you look on the across the board today, and the majority of these altcoins, the vast majority are red. Have a guess what's green? The three altcoins that I was trading today, and I gave to the group, like. Ah, you cannot get much better of selecting altcoins right now. Um, but yeah, look at ZRX, for example. Let's I'll go over ZRX and uh, yeah, let's start with ZRX first. So you have to imagine the psychology of the traders that this had seen a very swift move to the upside. OK, and this was this was one that 
by the way, <laughs> to even show myself even more, but ZRX and Ravencoin are, are coins that I gave exact entries, stop losses, and targets on in what I call trade of the week uh, to the champions group. Um, so this has been like, I absolutely have killed these, to be honest. But um, when we refer to Raven, or uh, sorry, ZRX here on the short term, we see this swift move to the downside. What do we come down to? We come down to the daily level, okay? So we see coming in here on daily support, where most people wake up in the morning very scared. I'm waking up here and seeing opportunity. So we come down to the daily and see a bounce, okay? If you miss this bounce, do not worry, because guess what you can do? Put on that fib from low to high, and you come down to... This is my new one, by the way, the 6.6. Six. Okay, so we're coming down to the 6.6. Six. We're getting a bounce. Coming back down again to the 6.6, six, six, getting another bounce. If you are scoping these bounces, okay, then you, what you all, you all you need to say is, uh, you know, it, it's just perfect. It, it literally is perfection. You cannot really get too much more accurate. Uh, I hope I pronounced that word right. On these altcoins, they're they literally beautiful. They're literally beautiful. And then Ravencoin, again, this one was really nice, okay? But what we can see here is a move back down. Move back down. This one I've been in. Uh, this was one that I gave to the group, literally all the everything they need with the entry to stop loss and the targets. But we come down here to this old resistance flipping into support for the entry. And now what are we up here? So this must be like a 30% gain, I'm pretty sure. 25% since entry. But then on an intraday basis, on an intraday basis, what we see is coming down to this trend line support of support, support, and again, support. Okay, and seeing that, well, now lovely continuation to the upside. Okay, looking for around this weekly level, which is sat at around 4087. Okay, um, those are just a few of the alts. Obviously, Ethereum was coming down to the weekly support that bounced as well. Okay, you can see here weekly support and bounced. Uh, and what was the other one? Oh, EOS. EOS on a short. Well, Engine Coin itself has been another one uh, from this daily. Just literally, these moves are insane. Absolutely so profitable. Uh, and on the short side, I gave EOS, and we can all see how that came up to weekly target <laughs> and fell off a cliff from weekly target. And that was one that I also covered in my stream yesterday saying I was shorting. But overall, you cannot really get too much better off trading those alts right there. Um, and I hope that people, people are either going to take this video the wrong way and say they're going to take it the wrong way, or you can kind of hopefully uh, see that I'm sh freely sharing my knowledge in these videos of how I selected those coins, and hopefully you can take something from that. Uh, you know, in life, there's, there's obviously two sort of people, the people that are going to take this and be like, wow, this guy knows what he's doing, thanks for sharing, or they're going to be the type of guy that's just like, I hate you, ah, and, you know, give me some dislikes, I literally couldn't care less, um, do I care about dislikes when I'm making this much money, no, honestly, no, um, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's my overview of the altcoins right there, I'm still trading those altcoins, and on the, on the very short term on Bitcoin, uh, we are within this range, okay, ending with the thesis of, do I believe there is enough power of, of the bulls here to get this next leg up, and that would obviously give you your one, two, three, four, and the, and the fifth wave, also, uh, Oh, yeah. So this is one where I said about Elliott Waves, like in, you know, Elliott Waves are great. Lots of people hate on Elliott Waves, but this was the uh, one of the only reasons why when we were down at 7,900 of why I, I thought that there could be this push to the upside. It was solely based off of Elliott Waves. That was my uh, indicator that, you know, thought we could get a move to the upside off of Elliott Waves. And you can see here from the B coming up to that C. Well, we are absolutely dig that, get that reaction to the upside. But also on top of this, now you have this, you know, um, uh, but butterfly harmonic okay this is a bearish butterfly harmonic because you come up to target and not necessarily and i know people are also hate on me for showing harmonics because you do not necessarily trade the point d until it gets to it so i am also aware of how to trade it i don't need people telling me this but um yeah, that's just another idea that you have for a push to the upside. But on the very short term, I would say trade this range. If you break to the upside of the range, then yes, then you would look to, you know, get in an entry on the breakout to, well, as long as you're you're watching volume heavily for swing failure patterns, you know, it goes without saying. But if you do not see that, uh, you know, sell volume coming in, then trade that up to weekly slash, you know, 8,800. And if, if if the move gets continuation of momentum coming in, then uh, yeah, I guess up to like 9,000, 9,250. Uh, but on the very short term, one has to say that 200 exponential moving average on the daily and the one to one extension which is looking like an abc right now is a very strong resistance not to be underestimated uh so to end with uh people probably not going to like it but i'm actually of a neutral bias okay and i am more of a just day trading this with on a midterm neutral okay short term literally trading these ranges and as you can see um kind of killing it because my entries are very good on day trades <laughs> as this guy says thank you best best scope i've ever seen i take that very uh you know, humbly and say, thank you, honestly, so much. Uh, but, you know, you have to remember, this is one thing that I want to, I, I will end with this. 
And I've said it to my group before that I am no better than you. I am no better than you. I am not cleverer than you. I am literally the same as you. Everything I'm doing, you can do if you put in the hours and the time to learn, okay? You're not just gonna come across and, and do this instantly. You do have to put in a little bit of effort. You know, you, you can't suddenly expect to just make money by putting in 10 minutes a day. But um, yeah, like, you know, the reason for instance here why I chose the 6-6, I have gone through many, 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 many hours and back testing strategies of what works better for me to 6.5 or to 6.6 and off of data, not just making it up, but I record my statistics. I record every single trade that I do. The statistics of those trade, what went good, what went bad, how could I improve? And I found the improvement of coming to the 6.6 and I hope that today can show you for example, well, literally this is a live example of why I've adjusted it because it is for me perfection okay and then on there's the zrx for example here the 66 also holding the move like those are two examples live from today you know i put in so 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 much time okay literally i put in a lot of hours uh to get as good as i am so um it doesn't just come easily and it was something that someone joked to me many times i've had this that i should make a trading book uh, i actually think if i released all of my journals trading journals where i record every single trade the reasonings why I enter the statistics. If I released that, I think it was uh, being much better than me writing a book because there I've got, you know, if you ask me, Daniel, what trade did you take in September the 10th, 2015, I have a record of that. I could tell you what trades I was taking five years ago <laughs> uh, because I keep everything journaled and I keep a back record of that, which I hopefully one day will show to my kids, I guess. But um, yeah, I find it very interesting. And, you know, I just wanted to end with, you know, I am literally no better than you, but the work that I put in and the hours are, are what helps me succeed, in my opinion. Um, and now I am here to share my knowledge with the rest of you and, and hope to make you into, you know, what you essentially want, you know, full time trader or, you know, financially free through through trading. That's obviously the goal for many people. And if I can help you achieve that, you know, it would makes me over the world happy. You know, when I re read the sort of comments from people um, you know, of people just, you know, these sort of comments where people are just like, thank you so much, like this for me is is absolutely brilliant like it makes me extremely happy so uh i hope that you have enjoyed this video very much as as much as i've enjoyed making it for you <laughs> uh, but i've enjoyed it very much uh so i hope that you have too basically uh if you are interested in joining look at the look at the merchandise by the way merch <laughs> which is not for sale but um yeah chart champions then obviously you can come across to chart champ i just noticed that the green doesn't show here because i'm on a green screen but hey yeah, chartchampions.com okay obviously in the description down below in in youtube you can get more information come across and if you're interested in joining our very much active community here uh where you know you've got like-minded individuals all, also all striving striving for that goal um you know you can come along make some friends and just enjoy yourself while making some money hopefully uh, and learning at the same time what could you not love about that uh so yeah thank you so much everybody i hope that you've enjoyed and i will catch you in my next update cheers and uh well good night or good morning depending on where you live <laughs> cheers thank you bye <laughs>